Snakes scare almost every person. Even though only a small portion of these reptiles are actually venomous, we humans have an uncanny fear when it comes to these slithering beings. In the wilderness, snakes, especially those with venom, can bring down animals much larger than them. However, that doesn't mean they don't have threats to their own lives. Far from it. So today, let's take a look at 14 biggest and worst enemies of snakes. We'll also tell you how these snake hunters achieve such feats. So let's begin. Number 14. Secretary Bird The secretary bird is one of the deadliest enemies of snakes in sub-Saharan Africa. What makes them particularly dangerous is the quick method employed to kill snakes. They can trample snakes to death with just one strike. Their kick has a force of around 44 psi, which is five times more than the bird's weight. The clawed kicks are strong enough to crush the soft bodies of snakes or its head. Additionally, the secretary bird's beaks are sharp enough to cut through and rip the flesh of dead snakes. Their overall size also gives them an advantage against snakes. Because of their ability to demolish snakes, farmers may often keep these birds as pets to fend off snake infestations in their fields. Number 13. Mongoose The mongooses are age-old enemies of snakes like cobras and mambas. There are many stories around the world where the brave mongoose destroys a venomous snake to protect defenseless animals. The mongooses are courageous and are known to face snakes head-on. One of the crucial benefits for mongoose when fighting snakes is their lightning-fast reflexes and movement speed. These hunters often jump around the snakes, avoiding their strikes. When the serpent starts to tire, that's when the mongoose makes its move and delivers a crippling bite to the snake's head. Moreover, mongooses have unique acetylcholine receptors that render them highly resistant to snake venom. Apart from this, their thick coat of fur also protects them from a venomous snake's teeth. All of these combined make mongooses the ultimate snake assassins. Number 12. Meerkat The meerkats are close cousins of mongooses. They are clever animals that often prey on snakes and come out on top. The meerkats usually live in burrows and have large families of around 40 individuals. They are gifted with an excellent sense of smell and hunt together as a unit. While hunting snakes, the meerkats typically rely on numerical strength. They often hunt snakes during the daytime and surround them from all sides to create confusion. The scared snake tries to fight or escape, but meerkats block the serpent's escape route. This strategy not only tires the snake, but also helps the meerkats to brutally rip and kill the snake in their zone. However, for a lone meerkat, hunting a snake is quite a difficult task. Part of the reason why meerkats have no tolerance for snakes is because these animals can often slither into the meerkat's burrow and hunt lone residents. Number 11. Eagles Eagles are large predators and can kill many varieties of snakes. The eagles have an extremely sharp beak that can pierce and tear away the flesh of snakes instantly. They have the habit of kidnapping venomous and non-venomous serpents and flying away to their nests. Even though snakes do retaliate by striking its legs, the hard bones of the bird's legs make these strikes futile. The eagles love to launch sudden attacks from the air, and this automatically diminishes the chances of any retaliation from the snakes. When attacked, the snakes hardly have any time to react before being carried away in the eagle's talons. Number 10. Hawks The hawks, like eagles, also hunt snakes. The most common hawks that regularly target snakes are the American kestrel, Cooper's hawk, and red-tailed hawk. They dive down from the sky and quickly pick up snakes to kill them. They have sharp beaks and claws to brutally bleed, tear, and fatally injure snakes. The hawks use the element of surprise while targeting snakes from the air. As far as retaliation is concerned, the snakes do retaliate and may foil their kidnapping plans. But in the end, the odds are invariably against the snakes and not the hawks. Size matters a lot in a snake versus hawk fight. Hawks can easily stomp and attack the smaller and medium-sized serpents. However, it isn't easy for them to take out the bigger snakes. The hawk-snake relationship also depends upon the population of snakes. If the snake's population is abundant and is smaller, then hawks may routinely attack them for a quick meal. Number 9. Owls Owls are the most common nocturnal predators of snakes. In terms of hunting strategy, the owls use the element of surprise to assault and kill snakes. With their pointed beaks and sharp claws, the owls are known to kill, behead, and brutally rip and shred snakes into several pieces. The owls have a high success rate because their grip is too strong for the snakes. 
The owls also happen to be fast killers and do not give any time to snakes to either escape or fight back. Sometimes, owls become impatient and may even swallow snakes alive. They are so frightening for snakes, especially because owls have great night vision and can easily unearth a snake that's hiding. Number 8. Honey Badger Honey badgers are sworn enemies of snakes, and they dare to kill even the large venomous members such as mambas, cobras, and non-venomous pythons. Nothing scares these predators, and warning signs from snakes, such as hissing and raising their heads, are absolutely useless against honey badgers. The honey badgers have a high bite force of 108 BFQ and have one and a half inch long claws. Besides these deadly weapons, the honey badgers are experienced fighters and are resistant to snake venom. A few venomous bites aren't enough to bring the honey badger down. Like the mongoose, the badgers also have thick fur covering their body, protecting them from bites. In recorded videos, it has been found that honey badgers may dig out snake hideouts and kill them by quickly biting off their head and tearing them into chewable pieces. There have been instances when honey badgers have fought back against pythons and have grievously injured or killed them. Number 7. Wolverines Wolverines are close cousins of honey badgers. They are not just great predators, but also extremely vicious. They have a reputation for targeting animals, including deadly snakes for a quick meal. When a wolverine spots a snake, it's very difficult for the serpent to escape. This is because snakes cannot take refuge in burrows during wolverine attacks, since they can destroy burrows and unearth the snakes. Even venomous snakes cannot do much to wolverines because they have thick fur and are extremely agile. Like honey badgers, they too can kill deadly snakes by ripping their head off with a single bite. The sharp claws are enough to inflict gracious injuries too. Wolverines are solitary hunters and prefer open hunting. There are instances when wolverines have killed cobras with ease. Although snakes are known to flee when facing such an opponent, even that is not sufficient to deter a determined wolverine. This is because wolverines can hit speeds of up to 30 miles per hour and relentlessly chase their prey. Number 6. Monitor Lizards Snakes and monitor lizards are both reptiles, but that does not promote any brotherly feelings towards each other. Size matters a lot in a battle between snakes and monitor lizards. In case monitor lizards are larger, then they are invariably going to crush snakes with their bone-crunching bite. Even dangerous venomous snakes such as spitting cobras or rattlesnakes do not stand a chance against a large monitor lizard. There are two main reasons behind the monitor lizard dominating these fights. Firstly, they have a tough hide that prevents penetration of snake teeth and their venom. Secondly, the monitor lizard's single bite is strong enough to crush vital organs of the snake, inflicting deadly wounds. But the tables can turn very quickly in these types of face-offs. Snakes also prey on monitor lizards. And a large part of the outcome in such fights invariably depends on the size of the two animals. If the snakes are bigger than the lizard, then the monitor may end up forfeiting its life. So going up against snakes is fraught with dangers for the lizard too. Number 5. Tarantula The tarantulas are not regular predators of snakes. They come in various sizes, and some large ones are capable of killing pigeons and snakes with just one strike. The tarantulas are armed with strong jaws and venomous fangs. Their venom is hemolytic or neurotoxic in nature. Once they strike, their venom can have a paralytic effect. What makes them particularly deadly is that they strike their prey suddenly and have great hiding and camouflage abilities. They also lay a trap for their prey by weaving spider webs. Once unknowingly the snake breaks the spider web, the tarantula may strike it suddenly by injecting venom into the snake's head. The venom's effect has the ability to dissolve the flesh of the snake, and the tarantula can suck the dissolved tissue right out of the snake's skin. However, tarantulas only attack snakes as a last resort or when they are starving. In most cases, these spiders stay away because most snakes have the ability to severely harm the tarantulas. Number 4. King Cobras The king cobras are some of the most notorious enemies of all other snakes because they have a habit of feeding on them. The snakes that are targeted commonly by king cobras include rat snakes, pythons, gopher snakes, and vipers. This habit of cannibalizing other snakes is what classifies king cobras as ophiophagus. The king cobras are masters of stealth, often approaching their prey snakes silently. The other serpents rarely notice their attacker before the initial strike. The king cobras have a high dose of venom. This venom completely paralyzes the bitten animal in a matter of minutes. After this happens, the king cobra moves towards the fallen snake and starts a long process of feeding. The snake will slowly gulp down the prey, even before they die. Depending on the size of the meal, the cobra may not need to feed for several subsequent days. Number 3. Hedgehogs Hedgehogs are some of the most naturally well-protected animals in the wild. 
The hedgehogs have sharp quills and can effectively guard themselves against predators of all sizes. Those sharp quills can inflict serious injuries on predators. If these quills pierce vital organs, then even big predators may die a painful death. However, the hedgehogs are fearless predators too and have a particular knack for hunting snakes at night. Though it is hard to imagine a small hedgehog targeting snakes, scientific research explains that most encounters between the two take place under the cover of darkness. Out of all snake species, the vipers are the most common targets of hedgehogs. Whenever a viper tries to fight back against a hedgehog, the quills come into play and wound the snake. Not just that, the hedgehog may curl like a thorny ball. Hedgehogs also have immunity against viper venom. Scientists from European countries claim that hedgehogs are partially immune from venom even though, in enough quantities, the poison can still kill them. Number 2. Crocodiles, Caimans, and Alligators Crocodiles, caimans, and alligators have an intense bite force. In a snake versus crocodile conflict, the size of the two animals and the ability to strike first can mean the difference between life and death. A python or any other large constrictor has a chance against these predators since they can coil around the croc or alligator. By applying pressure, these snakes may force the water predators into submission. However, if the python fails in doing this, the alligator's retaliation can be deadly for the snake. In the case of cobras and other venomous snakes, the crocodiles have a huge edge as they have tough armor and a powerful bite force that can shred snakes into several pieces. Still, there are recorded instances where pythons were seen squeezing caimans and alligators to death. Generally, such attacks from snakes are limited to baby crocodiles who aren't strong enough to fight back. Number 1. King Snakes What makes king snakes enemies of other snakes is that they have a long record of cannibalism. Some say that king snakes have earned the status of king due to their habit of killing other snakes by treachery. The king snakes mimic the venomous coral snake and have the habit of confusing others too. What makes them particularly impressive snake hunters is that they have a habit of targeting deadly venomous serpents like rattlesnakes, copperheads, and cottonmouths. None of these deadly snakes' venom works against king snakes. This ensures that in king snake versus other snake duels, the king snake has a huge edge and can destroy them at will. The other common hunting tactic used by king snakes is constriction. They use this tactic to subdue their prey and prevent their enemy snakes from biting it. So in a nutshell, the king snakes use this act of asphyxiation and do not wait for their prey to die. Instead, it may just swallow other snakes alive. So snakes are dangerous creatures, but they aren't immune to dangers themselves. Even with their venom and constriction abilities, these animals are susceptible to attacks from predators. What did you think about these snake killers? Let us know which of them is your favorite in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and family. In case you are interested in similar videos, do press the bell icon and turn on all the notifications for regular updates. Have a great day, and we hope to see you soon in another exciting video.